you when I got here. I know a lot of people here so I got a little distracted. Uh, ceremony just got done so let me go ahead and walk you guys through my setup. Same setup as last night. Just uh, J8. Video booth. DDJ 1000 SRT. Sennheiser G4 microphone. 2013 MacBook. Gonna be running Show Express again. And then over here we've got the CO2 cannon and my uplights. I'll be spreading the uplights around later uh, once we start getting getting closer to the dances and things i'll start uh setting up the uplights and everything but for right now i'm gonna go tear down my ceremony site and get the rest of this thing going um, cocktail hour is starting right now so i just made a couple announcements for that and then we're gonna do introductions here in about an hour so stay tuned So let's recap this event. So it was the second wedding back since the COVID-19 pandemic has started. If you haven't seen the first one, go back to the previous video. I'm going to give a card up here, however that works. This one was very similar, to be honest. Uh, it was barn wedding, ceremony, reception, same time frame, about the same head count. Everything was about the same except it was about 10 degrees hotter. Uh, I think had this been an event pre-COVID, I don't think it would have went as well. And the main reasons I feel that way are the, the fact that I know how much heat weighs into an event. And I know that it doesn't matter if you got a group full of dancers or not. If it's super hot, if it's 90 degrees, it was 90 degrees in there, guys, and humid. 
If it's 90 degrees, it doesn't matter who they are, you're gonna have a hard time getting people to dance and people are gonna wanna leave early and get home and get into the air conditioning. It's just the nature of the beast. That's uh, one of the biggest downsides to barn weddings. But this one, I think that because people hadn't been out, people hadn't partied in a long time, people were ready to do it. And you know, they, they took the heat as just uh, another little slight inconvenience. So, you know, they stayed around, they hung out, they partied, they danced, they had a great time, and I had a great time as well. Uh, as far as ceremony goes, you know, first off, I would like to apologize for not getting as much video footage of me, you know, walking you guys through equipment and that type of stuff as I normally do. I just honestly forgot. Uh, so my second wedding back, I haven't done a gig log for a wedding since last November, so I'm a little rusty uh, with, with both gig logs and video. And uh, filming, believe it or not guys, filming video uh, on the gig while you're at the gig and trying to make sure that you do the gig well can be challenging. But that's besides the point. No excuses. Um, next gig I'll try to get a little more footage of me walking you guys through equipment and that type of stuff. While we're on equipment though, everything went great. So I used the Eon 1 Pro at the ceremony site. I, I have been having a little bit of issues with it. I didn't like the way it sounded coming from the headphone jack directly into the mixer on the Eon 1 Pro. So this time I actually tried connecting to it via Bluetooth and the sound quality is so much better for whatever reason. Bluetooth from the iPad or MacBook to the EM1 Pro sounds so much better than it does a headphone jack to XLR and it just sounds muddy and dirty and it doesn't sound good. So I'm definitely going to be connecting Bluetooth from now on. I uh, do need to do some homework on my mic. I'm using the G3 Lav Pack. Uh, if you guys are using that setup, hit me up down in the comments. Let me know what your settings are. I'm not super versed with that stuff, with the the squelch and the the gains and all that type of stuff. I don't want to be getting feedback, but at the same time, I, I felt like I really have to crank it up on the EN1 Pro to, to pick it up well. Uh, even with it clipped right on their lapel, or in this instance, I actually had it clipped on her clipboard on the podium right in front of her. So I felt like it should have been picking up a lot better than it was. It just uh, sounded a little quiet. But yeah, if you guys can help me out, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what your mic settings are. Um, ceremony went over great. Reception, we did introductions and we went right into first dance. So I've only done that a few times and I actually recommended that to this couple uh, for the reason of I just wanted to, I wanted to mix things up a little bit and I knew it was going to be hot. I wanted to break things up so it wasn't so so much piled into one one time frame. And it went great. So they, they did uh, first dance, then we did uh, dinner and toast and all that stuff. And uh, then we went into the cake cutting and parent dances, garter toss, bouquet toss, got it all done. I thought I was gonna have a little bit of trouble getting people dancing, but to be honest with you, as soon as I opened up the dance floor, I had people out there dancing. You know, never did I have 50 people out there, which we don't really want that right now during this COVID stuff anyway. But you know, I always had at least, I'd say 10 to 15 people on the dance floor. And that made me feel really good. That made the night go by quick and it was a lot of fun. Uh, as far as um, equipment goes, the club cannon. If you guys don't have a club cannon, I think it's a valid, a valid purchase. That thing's fun, man. It's it's not that expensive. Here where I'm at to fill one of those 50 gallon tanks is like $40. I'm definitely gonna be bringing that to events. And it's probably gonna be one of those things where you know I'll try to upcharge for it, but if they don't want it, I'm still gonna have it with me. And if the party gets going crazy and having a good time, you know, and it looks like the type of crowd that would want that. I'll go out and grab it out of the truck and bring it in and let them spray people. You know, especially in this instance, it was super hot, so that club cannon helped cool people off. At first, people were kind of scared of it, but once they realized that it was just cold air, basically, you know, they were they were okay. All right, somebody's gonna bust me on that. It's still carbon dioxide or whatever, but it's it's not gonna hurt you. It's just cold. Well, club cannon went over well. As far as the video booth goes, man, I am in love with this thing. It is so much fun to DJ out of. Setup is quick, easy. Having the monograms on the front was super cool. Um, spoiler alert, this week we're actually going to be recording the ceremony ahead of time and playing it on the video booth, so that's going to be cool. Uh, the, the, the controller. So the, the 1000 SRG. I know I've been anti-controller for a long time. And, uh, you know, I had the SX2. I hated it. I did not like anything about that controller. Um, it was just too small. I didn't like the, the size of the jog wheels and that type of stuff. But this 1000 SRT is freaking awesome, man. I am in love with it. It's got the two mic channels. Both of the mic outputs sound great on it. I haven't had any issues with that. You know, it feels good. I'm really getting used to the platters. I like the effects. There's not anything I don't like about it. The samples work great. You know, it's just, uh, it's a really good controller and I would recommend it to anyone. 
lighting. So lighting for this event, same as last time. I didn't bring anything but my up lights. And the reason I did that is, well, I actually had, I had my Wash FX2s with me. Um, I just didn't set them up. And the up lights were perfect. They were fine. You know, they, they're non-intrusive. You can just tuck them around. I have 12 of them. So I tucked them all around the, the dance floor area of that barn. And uh, I have, I'm using the Show Express box with the uh, Kai MIDI controller. So I have launch points for different scenes and different colors and that type of stuff. So I was using that to control the lights and it, it worked great. They shot up to the top of that barn and lit up that whole area and it worked just awesome. Um, but yes, let's to, to end this one out guys, all in all, super satisfied with this event. Had a great time, so much fun. Joey, Tony, thank you guys so much for having me. Really appreciate it. But that's all I got for this week guys. Sorry if I rambled a little bit here on this one, but this was a good wedding, and I was super excited about it, super excited to talk about it. So, uh, more gig locks coming. We're approaching 5,000 subscribers, so if you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. Click that like button if you liked what you saw today, and click that notification bell so you can get notifications of my upcoming videos. I'll catch up to you guys in the next one. Peace.